stories? I'm sure you all do. We all love stories, right? They take us into a world of so beautiful imaginations, right? So let me tell you today a story of a little piglet. Piglet is a baby of a pig. Yes, you got the trunk. Right. And this little poor piglet is called Snuffle Trum. Snuffle Trum woke up in the morning. It's my birthday. I'm sure Mama Papa will be waiting and my friends will come and wish me. Oops, what's happening? Hey, cops. But where's Mama and Papa? We haven't come to wish me yet. Did they forget my birthday? No, no. I don't think so. He quickly got up, brushed his feet, had a shower, wore the best clothes and walked out of his room. He looked all around the house but couldn't see Mama Papa everywhere. Where were they? He went on looking. Mama? Papa? Where is everyone? <laughs> oh, oh, these hiccups. He again went ahead to look for Mama and Papa and he saw them really busy with something. They had some boxes and they had some lot of things and they were busy doing some work. They saw him and said, Oh Snuffle Trump, what are you doing over here? Please go out and play with your friends. We are really busy. Please go out, said Daddy Pig. And Snuffle Trump said, They have really forgotten my birthday. No birthday wishes, no birthday cake, and <clears throat> hiccups. Poor Snuffle Trump, he was so, so sad. He went outside the house and sat alone thinking, This is not a good birthday. Mama, Papa have forgotten my birthday. My friends haven't wished me. And these <clears throat> hiccups. <clears throat> Let me go and meet my friends. He walked ahead to the farm. And he thought, let me see some friends. I might be happy if I see them. And maybe they remember my birthday. <laughs> so he walked ahead to the farm. And how did he go? Come on, all of you sing with me. Jiggity jig, jiggity jig, jiggity jig, jiggity jig. Up the hill, down the hill. Up the hill, down the hill. Up the hill, down the hill. Jiggity jig, jiggity jig, jiggity jig, jiggity jig. Stop. Who did he see? He saw the moo. Moo. The cow was grazing in the field. He went ahead to the cow and said, Good morning, cow. How about you this morning? Moo. I'm fine, Snuffle Trump, thank you. But you don't look okay. What's the matter with you? <coughs> you know, cow? <coughs> These hiccups are really bothering me since morning. <laughs> what do I do? They're really annoying me. Oh, hiccups? We know. The surest way to cure a hiccup. We cows have the best remedy. <laughs> really? Do you really have? Oh, of course. The surest way to cure a hiccup is to drink a glass of our milk. But... You have to be upside down with your head touching down and your legs up in the air. Really? <coughs> will that really help me? Oh, of course it will help you. The Snuffle Trump thought, let me try this out. If my hiccups could go away, why not give it a try? So the cow got a glass of milk and gave it to Snuffle Trump. And Snuffle Trump bent down with his feet up in the sky and tried to... Drink the milk. Gluck, gluck, up, 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 up. What happened? The cow spilled her oil over his face. Uh oh. Poor Snuffle Drum. He thought to himself, I have milk on my face. The hiccups. No birthday wishes. No birthday cake. I don't like my birthday. But, anyways, he was a very good boy. So he said thank you to the cow and he walked ahead. He went ahead, slowly walking, 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 and whom did he see? He saw the nosy hens. The hens were running all around. What happened, Snuffle Trump? You don't seem to have a good morning. Oh, hens, you know, <coughs> I've got these hiccups. 
They're really troubling me. Oh, hiccups! I know the surest way to cure your hiccups. <coughs> really? Do you really know something that can help me? Oh, of course. I'll give you my eggs and juggle your eggs. And I'm sure the hiccups will go away. Snuggletrum thought to himself, Can juggling eggs ever help cure a hiccup? I have never heard of that. But the hen seems to be very intelligent. Let me try it. So the hens got him a few eggs and he started juggling. First slowly, then a little faster and fast. Even more quicker. Quicker. Quick, 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 What happened? Eggs fell all on his hat. Splat, splat, splat. Now poor Shuffle Trump. No birthday wishes. No birthday cake. Hiccups. Milk all over his face. And eggs on his head. Oh, he was so annoyed. He was so annoyed. But he said, I cannot say anything to the mean hens. And the mean hens were laughing. <laughs> you silly snuffle trap. You silly piglet. Do you really think that juggling eggs can take away your hiccups? <laughs> they were teasing him. Snuffle Trump was really sad. And he was very angry with the hens. But he just said, thank you. Walked away. Poor Snuffle Trump he was almost into tears. He wanted to cry. Mama, Papa, I look like a pancake. I have milk all over my face and eggs on my head. <laughs> I look like a pancake. Oh, and no one remembers my birthday. I don't like this birthday. Someone heard him crying. And who was it? The horse was passing by from where Snuffle Trump was sitting. And he heard him cry. Hey Snuffle Trump, what happened? Why are you crying? And what is all this all over your face and your head? Snuffle Trump told him everything. And the horse felt very, very sad for Snuffle Trump. He said, Oh Snuffle Trump, do not worry. You know what we horses do? When someone has a hiccup, we tell them to climb on our back and we go trotting around. So when you will trot on my back, your hiccups will vanish. Really horse, do you really think that is going to help? Oh, of course. I have done it so many times, said the horse. So Snuffle Trump said, no harm in trying. And I will get a lovely ride on the horse. Let me go and jump on the horse. He went and he sat on the horse and the horse started trotting. Faster horsey, faster! Snuffle Trump was enjoying it. He told the horse, go running faster. So the horse started galloping. horse was in so much speed, he didn't notice that there was a big boulder ahead of him. He had to stop. And when he stopped with a jerk, what happened to Snuffle Trump? He flew from over his head and landed in a stack of hay. Oh, poor Snuffle Trump. The hay was stuck all over his body. Snuffle Trump had no birthday wishes, no birthday cake milk on his face, eggs on his head and hair stuck all over his body. He was so upset. He was so, so upset. But he said thank you to the horse and he walked away. He walked and he walked and he walked and he reached the lake. He went and he sat by the lake thinking what do I do? Mama, Papa, don't remember my birthday. My friends don't remember my birthday. <laughs> and the hiccups are bothering me so much. Someone help me. <laughs> In that lake, 
there was a beautiful duck and her ducklings who were swimming around. The duck came closer to the snuff, to snuffle drum and said, Quack! 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 What happened, snuffle drum? Why do you look so upset? And what has happened to you? Look at you. You are in a mess. Yes, ducky. <laughs> Yes, ducky. <laughs> yes, ducky. <laughs> and he told the duck whatever had happened through the day. Now the duck was a very, very kind duck. Let me help you, Snuffle Trump. If I splash a lot of water at you, you will get clean and your hiccups will surely go away. Snuffle Trump thought, my hiccups will not go. <laughs> but if they splash water on me, I will definitely get clean. So why not try this? And the ducks and the ducklings started splashing a lot of water on Snuffle Trump. Splash, 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 splash. And Snuffle Trump was nice and clean. He really enjoyed all those splashes of water on him. And he was so happy that he was so clean. He said thank you to the ducks. And what happened to the hiccups? What do you think happened to the hiccups? <laughs> They were still there. But Snuffle Jump was happy now because he was nice and clean and he just wanted to go back home. And suddenly, from far, he could see Mama and Papa waving. Snuffle Jump, come over. Snuffle Jump, come home. We are waiting. Come back soon. Snuffle Jump was really happy. He said thank you to the ducks started running towards Mama Papa. And how did he go? Jiggity-jig, 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 jiggity-jig. Up the hill, down the hill. Up the hill, down the hill. Up the hill, down the hill. Jiggity-jig, 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 jiggity-jig. Stop! He reached at the door and suddenly he couldn't see Mama Papa. Where were they? He started wondering. Did I really see Mama Papa call me out? Oh, of course I did. <laughs> But where are they now? <coughs> and suddenly he heard a voice from inside. That was Mama saying, Snuffle Trump, come from the back door, Snuffle Trump. We have been cleaning the house and the front is in a mess. The Snuffle Trump said, Oh, Mama and Papa have been busy cleaning the house. Let me go from behind and go and meet them. I'm sure they remember my birthday now. He went over there and he opened the door. And oh, surprise! What did he see? Mama and Papa had arranged a surprise birthday party for Snuffle Trump. He thought they had forgotten. But can Mama and Papa forget his birthday? No, your Mama and Papa can never forget your birthday. All his farm animals were called the cow and the cows, the horses, the ducks and the ducklings, the pigs. And the mean hens too. They were all over there. Mama had baked a beautiful big strawberry cake. There were so many gifts around and so much yummy food to eat. And they all started singing for Snuffle Drum. Can we all sing together? Can we wish him a very happy birthday? Okay, let's start. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Snuffle Drum. Happy birthday to you. And that was the best, best birthday Snuffle Trump had ever had. What happened to the hiccups? What do you think happened to the hiccups? Yes, they vanished. The surest way to cure a hiccup is to get surprised. So next time you think someone has hiccups and you would like to help, surprise them and the hiccups will go away. So that's how Snuffle Trump had his beautiful, messy birthday. Did you all like that story? It is one of my favorite stories. I would love to be surprised. We all like surprises, right? Have you ever surprised someone? Has someone surprised you? And how did you feel about it? I am sure we all are very happy to surprise someone with something that they love 
and that can make them happy and if someone surprises us it is so much fun right let me teach you two words that were in the story so that you remember the story and the words forever the first word is vanish what is vanish does anyone know what is vanish vanish is to suddenly go away something that is just disappeared we say it vanished let me think of a sentence to explain vanished hmm. yes and suddenly in the market all the tomatoes had vanished that means that there were no more tomatoes in the market they all had gone away and the second word we can learn is gallop gallop is when the horse runs really fast it's called galloping can you all repeat galloping when the horse runs really really fast it is called gallop or let me think of a sentence to explain gallop yes the horses in the race galloped so fast that says that the horses were running really fast in the race now from the story think about if you would have ever done something to help your friends were you like the mean hens or were you like the horse and the ducks who really wanted to make your friend happy and help them how did you feel i'm sure you felt very very good and how did your friends feel i'm sure they felt very very good and that's my time and our story and our session for today is done can we sing a goodbye song can you all join me goodbye my friends it's time to go a story and fun time has come to a close goodbye my friends it's time to go make stories a part of your world goodbye to miss ekta and goodbye to everyone watching me goodbye